All right, guys, today is the day. It is so early in the morning, and we have to go get drug tests. After everything that happened, our school randomly selected our top five to uh, get drug tests. It's 5 a.m., and I do not want to be up. I do have a workout today, so I'll probably have to take a nap before then because I am exhausted. But, yeah, we're going to get to the school, take the test, and then see what happens after that. My name is Reese Gibson and I am a student at Huntington University and I, I can't lie, the last couple of weeks have been super, super hard, you know, with running, with everything going on with the school, with the coaches, it's been pretty tough. There was a point last month where things just basically kept getting progressively worse and worse, but I think over the past, you know, two weeks or so, they have been getting a little bit better. It is currently... Yeah, it's November 6th. We did just have conference yesterday, which was a, a pretty good race. I ended up getting second, which I was super, super stoked for. I think respectively our top five finished second, third, fourth, 12th, and 31st. So in our conference, which is one of the better conferences in the country. So we're super, super pleased with that. And we have two weeks till national. So yeah, we're definitely all looking forward to that. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to do as good as I did. I got second, like I said, it was my highest finish ever at a cross country race. So the first couple of races, I had PR after PR after PR. I ran 25.40 and then after I ran that I ran 25.52, 25 flat. So yeah I've been around 25 to 25 20 all throughout the entire year so definitely super happy with my times and my places. By far the best year I've had so far in collegiate cross country and I think in about two weeks I will be fighting for an all-American position. Basically what you have to do is get top 40 at nationals for NAI and you're considered an all-American and so far, I've gotten three in indoor track and three in outdoor track, but I have not gotten any in cross country so far. And I guess the way that I've been running, I can confidently say that I do believe in my heart that I will be an All-American by the time this video is over. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. we got two weeks left, only three workouts left till nationals, probably 150 miles total until I'll be in Florida racing on that course. we got two weeks till nationals, so I guess we'll just see how the season goes. guys it is currently november 13th and it's 12 o'clock trying to go to bed but i'm at my grandma's house right now my mom has been feeling sick all week and she just took a test today and she found out she was positive so i left as soon as possible and hopefully you know fingers crossed i don't get it this week because we have a race in five days i've been taking my iron and vitamin d every single day drinking as much orange juice as possible and been taking zinc since I found out. So we're just gonna try to make ends meet, fingers crossed that I don't get anything before nationals, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go, keep it up, keep it up, you got this.
here. We just did a course preview. We came here last night, but it was too dark to videotape. Yesterday we did about seven and a half miles. Today we finished off about five miles and some strides on the course. The course is actually really cool. It's pretty beautiful and the woods are insane. So everyone's definitely super excited to, you know, run this race. And I gotta say, out of everything, my favorite part about these trips is definitely the food that we get. I guess I'm a sucker for free food, but yeah, super excited to be racing here tomorrow. I don't feel the greatest, but I also don't feel terrible. I just got a little cough and uh, kind of a stuffed nose, but hopefully I can, you know, last until tomorrow. It is currently race day in Tallahassee. I think it's like 40 degrees outside. It is currently 6.40 and very, very cold. Yesterday, our team took a trip to the Starbucks and the Starbucks was in the Target. So when I was in the Target, I went to get a test and ended up testing positive right after that. So I'm just trying to keep a positive attitude all the way up until the race. I'm still going for that top 24 spot, but we should see how things go today. I'm super, super excited still trying to make the best of today. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try my best, but I'm mostly focused on the race today. So I can't promise anything. Keep working, Kent. Let's go, Austin. Get up there with Reese. Let's go. Good work, Highlight. Keep working. Let's go, Kent. You're right at top 20. Let's go. Let's go, Reese. You got to move up. Let's go, Austin. You're on 60. Let's go. Let's go, Highlight. Go get him. Let's go. Let's go, Highlight. Let's go, Kent. You're 24. Let's go. Let's go, Kent. 23, Kent. Let's go. 52, Reese. 52, Reese. Go get that pack. Let's go. You got to go, Austin. 70, Austin. Move up. Go get him. Let's go. Come on, Austin. just got back and the team ended up finishing 10th which was pretty much where we've been ranked the entire season a little bit better i think we've been ranked like 12th but finishing 10 we were super happy with that and then i finished 44th individual with a time of 24 59 and when i passed the finish line i knew i was between 40th and 50th so i was kind of disappointed that i didn't get all american but given the circumstances i was definitely happy with how nationals went the course was pretty awesome so yeah hopefully someday i can go back there and run again so now that cross country is over we were going to train for the half marathon but we just found out that the NAI took the half marathon and the marathon out so we're gonna start figuring out what we're gonna train for indoor and indoor is gonna be gone in a second so we got to figure out what we're doing for outdoor so yeah definitely a pretty fun trip to Florida I will see you guys next time stay safe and stay blessed peace